Good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you. And today uh, I am bringing you my 2023 NASCAR group build. It is hosted by Mr. Fred Henry and Jeff's Model Garage. And it starts on February 5th and it goes all the way through November 5th. So you have a full NASCAR season to uh, get her done. Uh, what I'll be doing is Herschel McGriff's 1974 uh, Daytona 500 Dodge Charger. Um, so we're just going to open this up real quick. I'm not going to do an open box review of this. I did one when these came out. But basically I'm just showing I'm starting with the sealed kit. And, um, also, um, somebody else showed this as well. Uh, you can see there's little divots in the side door. Uh, these started showing up uh, about the second second time. Um, the other gentleman I've seen also, there's a break in the body line. On the 7172, this comes down more and then this comes up more, so it leaves kind of a hump there. But that's the way they're designed. So, but anyway, I'm going to pull the, the instructions. Uh, this is, I'm going to just get the decals out of here real quick. And this is what I do with the instructions. Yep. Uh, basically, I've built 19 of these chargers. And I will post a pic right up here. Um, and anyway, <clears throat> this is going to be my version. Um, by and far, this is the best, uh, model that, uh, Salvino's put out accuracy wise, uh, really disappointed with the new Roadrunner. So I'm back on, uh, these chargers, which the body's, uh, really nice trim. Um, these go together pretty well. The even for the generic pan, um, it fits well inside the body. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this off screen. And we're going to go through decals. Um, so what I have is I have an old set of yesterday's decals. Um, Basically, this was an invitation from Bill France uh, asking Herschel McGriff, who was a West Coast driver, one that I met when I was seven years old in Portland. I remember he had a white car, but I'm not sure if it was his 04 Nova or uh, Chevelle. I just, I don't recall. Um, but he was, my dad raced late model stock uh, on the Winston West as well when I was like five, six years old. I don't remember a whole lot from it, but Herschel McGriff was the one big star that I met, my first big star besides my dad. Um, and unfortunately with this sheet, um, although it has, you know, almost heaven, West Virginia for both sides, the rear quarter, it, it does not have the one for the hood. So, what I did is I bought a set from Lobo Graphics. And you can see they have, in the white outline here, they have the Almost Heaven West Virginia on the hood. They've got all the outline um, for the blue and gold. Um, and then all the proper lettering um, these decals are uh, when you put these decals on they are super thin they go down and they just almost disappear on your model they are excellent but being super thin uh, number one I use a little bit of dish soap in there to cut that surface tension but uh, 
when you slide these onto the model, like Power Slide or Ace, you don't have a whole lot of leeway to be moving these around. So especially when you have uh, the dual color, you have the white underlay. This white underlay needs to be dry. Uh, and I'm talking half day to a full day drying. What happens is once you put this on top of that decal, it sticks almost instantly. So again, you have to be precise with that. In my last model that I tried to use these from the Petty model, oh Lord, I even cut them up into smaller pieces. Um, but these things are so hard to move around. You really have to be 100% precise on these. So what I'm going to do, since it's the same exact paint scheme um, for the Petty's Dodge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this off and I'm going to make a template um, out of this. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is I already have the template copied uh, from the 76 Vermilion decals that they put out. That's right. Uh, I will transfer that to a full sheet of Tamiya masking paper and I will mask this off and, and paint it. So that's my plans for that. And these are the paints I will be using. Uh, MCW's primer 1004E. Uh, this stuff is great. It goes down, it has a nice eggshell satin uh, look to it. Sands up very nice. Uh, it's really particular on air pressure, so you got to be careful with that. Um, but then what I'm going to use is MCW Blue Metallic. These are the Pearson colors. Um, I did the spoon test last year on, for another car. But these are the two that I, I came down and wanted to use. I don't know if they're the exact colors. But that's all right. That's what I'm going to use. And then uh, when he was invited out, uh, he had already had a relationship, Herschel McGriff did, with uh, the Petties. So basically he bought a Petty car, left the interior Petty blue, and to make it easy, uh, all he had to do was tape off where Petty had it outlined already for his vermilion and, and uh, blue and just paint his own colors on it. But he left the interior color petty blue. So that's what I'll be using for that. And then for uh, any chrome I need on this, um, you will notice on this car, he's got the chrome front grille and the chrome back bumper. I will not use the um, the chrome that's in the kit. It looks all right. It's not bad at all. But I will use the display chrome. Uh, you can see hands down. It's it's some nice stuff. So you can even see the reflection from this chrome. How nice it is. Uh, in a couple days. I don't want to keep putting up videos. This will be my third one this week. And I apologize guys. Just a lot of things going on. But I do have a chrome test coming up to show you how all my nine different chromes came out. So, all right. So that does it with the paint. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some uh, detailing parts. This is going to be a full de detail build. Um, I started this one last year. It's uh, Buddy Baker's Valvoline car. <laughs> you can see where my full detail, I got stuck doing a bunch of resin during the winter and just kind of went off of it. But that one ended up in the box. So I was glad to hear when uh, Fred and Jeff announced that this was a nine month build. I'm like, oh, perfect. That's perfect for me. Maybe I'll get it done this time. So anyway, I'm gonna use Model Car Garage, uh, full detail, race car detail set for the Charger. Um, the window braces, uh, wire looms, race car pedals, uh, seat belt material, uh, 
fuel inlet plate, the stock car uh, window net. I typically don't put nets on mine, but this one being a full detail, I'm going to. Then ProTech, I've got all the um, different braided lines. The um, nut and bolt detail. And then I'm going to be using ProTech's uh, five-point harness. And, of course, a fuel block, or the T for the fuel. And then also I have, uh, I think these are model car garage, yes, uh, model car garage steering wheels. And these are some tie wraps I got from a company. It's a, Czechos, a Czechoslovakia. Okay, let me try that again. It's a Czech company um made in the czech republic it's oh ctm is the name of the company but these are some really really nice um tie wraps and they're easy to cut but the nice thing about these is the opening and the head the tie wrap actually goes through the opening so you can actually use it like a, a real tie wrap. And it makes it nice when you're tying down um, tubes and, and wires and stuff to the cage and uh, under, the, uh, under the, the hood. For the engine, I'm using a dual hemi pulley uh, by Off the Sprue. The overflow tank. Uh, brake booster. Oil tank. Gas filler. Then I've got some uh, assorted um, brackets from the dirt modeler. Uh, I was fortunate before he took off for Tennessee to snag some of these. Uh, I'll be using a fireball carburetor. Uh, these things are nice. Fireball is, they have the best stuff. And then, uh, from Detail Master, assorted wire, radiator, window net hardware, hood pins, header flanges. These I use, the square and the circle I use for, uh, uh, pass through where hoses pass through any bulkhead uh, as a pass through point uh, just makes it look nice. Uh, header flanges, muffler flanges, and then fitting etching. These are that little loop that holds down wires and tubes inside the engine compartment and underneath the chassis. Let's see if it has a picture. Nope, this one doesn't. I'm um, going to use a shifter kit. Then some window clips. Um, and then lastly, there's another big company that I love using. It's uh, Mr. Model. It's out of Brazil. Uh, these guys make some great stuff and it's very inexpensive. Uh, these packs of wires are like $1.25. Uh, but these are point zero one zero, so they're just slightly larger than uh, Detail Masters point oh seventy five. But just some different uh, detail wires, and then here's some um, hose clamps um, from them as well. I haven't tried any yet, so I don't know if they go through the through the hoops or not. Uh, gas cap, a couple different sizes of springs, uh, a reservoir, kind of like a moon tank that goes on the front of the firewall, uh, coils, um, then they got a really nice fire bottle that I'm going to use, and some valve. Uh, air valves for the tires. 
Uh, so that's about it. Um, I do have some stuff. Um, I'm going to be using some of my detail stuff. Um, some small ferrules. Um, got those off of Amazon. And these things here, these are uh, something I got from my wife. They're for diamond art. But they're great for storing small little parts. Um, and all the different aluminum parts. We got 3D printed parts. We have uh, uh, small bezels, large bezels, RB motion valve stems, uh, nut and bolt detail, um, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, and here is, this is Master Club bolts, all different sizes. Um, These are hard to get a hold of, so I ordered as many as I could from uh, Poland. Um, and then these are all my fittings, 90 degrees straight, size C, size D. These are from a gentleman named Toru Sanaka from Japan. Unfortunately, he's not doing them anymore. He won't respond. So I'm trying to find another avenue to get those. Uh, some more sorted le electric boxes, more carbs, spring seats, coils, um, radiator hose ends from RB Motion. So this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing uh, detail-wise for all this stuff. So uh, I will post probably monthly updates. Um... I'll do a quick video post, and then I'll do a post uh, on the uh, page as well for updates. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, I am, I'll show you this. I am getting ready to wrap this bad boy up today. Um, I've got all the chassis. I did extend the chassis because it uh, doesn't fit this car. This is the basic generic charger chassis they used. But I've got to do all my chrome trim, put the glass on, uh, manage some detail work here. Um, Going to use some um, who makes that? Slicks. Makes uh, those little three panel sheets of uh, grill material. I put a decal in there for that. And then uh, I already painted the front and rear chrome for those. Got to detail the grill, and that's it. And then I'm going to wrap that up. But anyway, this has been way too long as it is. Uh, Y'all take care. We'll see you on the uh, build page.